Hi guys, Jesse here from Jams Parts, and today we're going to teach you how to do a custom paint job on stainless steel hubcaps. Okay, so I wanted to start out by telling you some of the things that you're going to want to get together uh, as supplies for your project. Um, I would get these uh, tester model paints. They're a really good acrylic paint and they harden really well and they will last forever. Um, no clear coat or anything like that is necessary with this paint. Um, you're also going to want to get a set of uh, paint brushes. The, the smaller the brush the better as far as these are concerned because you got some really fine lines and things and you're going to need a really small brush for that. Um, you're also going to want to get some q-tips, paper towels, and paper plates just for cleaning purposes. Uh, an exacto knife for scraping away any excess paint and some paint thinner for the same thing. It's for cleaning up lines and things like that. And before you're able to paint these uh, stainless steel hubcaps, you're going to have to sand away anywhere that you want to paint. So we're going to get some of these. These are um, Dremel tips. They're diamond engraving tips that are made for engraving metal and things like that. But we're just going to use them for sanding a uh, small area. So uh, You can use uh, just regular sandpaper or emery board, something like that, but I found these to be best because they have a really sharp tip on them and you can get into the really small areas. So That's pretty much it. That's really all you'll need to do this. So once you got everything together, we can get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and clean it really well. Get some Windex or some degreaser and just give it a good once over. Make sure there's no dirt, oil, nothing like that, no grease, anything like that on your hubcap. And make sure it's good and clean, otherwise the paint won't adhere to this. Uh, next thing we're going to do is take that Dremel I was telling you about and we're just going to scrape away anywhere that we want to put paint. You have to create a rough surface for this paint to adhere to so we're just going to kind of scuff up anywhere that we want to paint in a circular motion kind of just creating scratches basically and sanding away the very smooth surface of the steel and giving you a good surface for your paint to stick to. So like I said, get in all the little small areas that you want to that you're going to want to paint and just scratch them up real good. Make sure that you go go over them a few times. Make sure the scratch is everywhere uh, anywhere that you're going to want to have paint. Like I said, cuz Otherwise, this paint will not stick to this. It's too smooth, and the surface just won't take the paint. Alright, so before we apply our first layer, we're just going to take a little bit of our paint. And because this paint has a really gummy kind of nature to it, we're just going to thin it out. Uh, I All I have in here, this is just a dropper and it's just paint thinner. And we're just going to drop just a couple of drops of paint thinner in there to thin it out and make it a lot more easy to work with. And we're just going to mix it up. Okay, so we're just going to take our paint and get a nice little bit on our brush here and go to town and just start filling in with as much care as possible the smaller areas that you want to fill with paint it's okay if you go outside the lines a little bit we're gonna clean that up a little bit later because it's impossible to get to get it exactly within the lines on one stroke for me anyway but it's okay because we will be able to clean that up but the important thing is to 
try and get the paint inside the lines to look smooth. So try and do it in one nice fluid motion with plenty of paint. So that you get a real nice smooth look inside the lines. And like I said, see how I went outside the lines quite a bit. Don't even worry about that at this point in time. It's okay. And if you start running out of paint, just get more on the brush. It, like I said, it's better to make it look smooth and try and do it in one nice smooth line and get the paint looking smooth. Now the way I find it's best is just to let that dry before you mess with it. Don't try to remove the paint from the lines just yet. Let it dry a little bit. It'll be easier to work with. So I'm just going around and doing a little bit more painting. Uh, like I said, try to apply plenty of paint that so it actually fills in these gaps. Uh, you want it to sit off the very bottom, sort of 3D, you know, um, a pretty heavy layer so that it stands off on its own. So make sure to use plenty of paint and just keep dipping your brush. And like I said, don't worry about the lines just yet. It's not that important. The more, it's more important to fill the lines with paint in this step. And get smooth lines. Alright, so our paint's dried after about two to three hours. And we're going to go in here with our X-Acto knife and just kind of scrape away any of the excess paint that needs to be straight lines. Uh, don't scrape too hard where you actually scratch the surface of the steel, but just hard enough where the paint comes off. It'll come off fairly easily at, in the beginning until about a day from now when it'll harden up real good and it won't be quite as easy to work with. So you'll want to do this fairly quickly, but like I said, after a couple hours, scrape away the excess and give yourself some straight lines with an X-Acto knife. And the other technique we're going to use a lot is Q-tips in paint thinner. We're just going to go along these, these uh, edges that have a lot of extra paint and we're just going to start rubbing at the edge until we get to the edge of our line. You'll be able to tell when you get there because you'll see if it'll start to form a fairly straight line and then just move on and you just kind of rub the edge all the way around until you get a perfectly straight line and it's fairly easy to do at this point like I said just a little bit of thinner and you're going to want to do this on both sides until you get just a little bit down in that that little uh, in groove there, I guess, and wipe away all the excess. So let us see. And as you can see, I've gotten pretty much most of it off at this point, and we're down to pretty much just the paint we want. And now all we have to do is let it dry up. And then we'll just polish it up and that'll be it.